Hi everyone, welcome back. On this episode I'm going to try and do as much sanding as I can so we can progress with the toilet and the double bed just so I can bond around the sides and fiberglass it to the hole. Um, I'm going to weigh this week, so it's going to be a short one, maybe a little bit rubbish, it's only going to be sanding down bits here and there. Um, but I'm going to try when I come back, I'm going to take the windows out and get all the sanding done, just completely blitz it and get it over and done with so there'll be no more stopping on sanding it, just progress and progress. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm going away for the whole week fit some decking at my parents so it should be fun um, but yeah let's crack on and do as much sanding as I can <laughs> Just a quick update, obviously you see it on time lapse, but that's mainly that side done. I just need to do it under there. Um, what I've decided to do is I am gonna take the windows out, take them out so I can sand all of that. I only need to sand up to there. Uh, nothing else is behind it, so I can just paint that and that'll be all right. Uh, same with this side, I've, I've, I've sanded that. I want to take this window out and so I'll be able to sand that. Um, I did find a big chunk of fiberglass that someone's done a patch job but it weren't that good as you can see. I see daylight out there so sand around that, sand it all out and try and fix that. Uh, just where the wood's rotten and had no support, uh, but that will change obviously once I put even just this in. If I glass it all in, that will strengthen that up. And like I said earlier, that one in that, you see that crack right there? That's it's actually collapsed. The whole the whole front bowels come down, crack that off. So. I think that's my next step, step will be to take the cover off, get all these windows out just because it's all been screwed and I want to re-fiberglass over all of these holes and first I'll be getting new perspex and but the frame I would like to um, rivet the windows in not screw them in uh, that's what these windows up here are actually original and you can see these have been riveted in but enough of that I'm gonna probably be tomorrow now I'll get those windows out and just carry on sanding like I said earlier I just want to hurry up it's gonna go quite quick I've only got that bit left 
that bit and then it's just the front bit and the ceiling for me it's going to be a let's say a week's worth of work but hopefully i can cut that down but yeah i'll crack on now okay new day um i've actually changed my mind on taking the cover off and taking the windows out this week um because it's starting to rain um i'm away next week uh, working on some decking i might video that and put it up i'm not too sure yet but what i'm going to do today is just try and see how much of the sanding i can get done um i've got to do all this and all that well everything you see to be honest with you so i'm just gonna try and do as much as i can uh, i know it's a bit late well halfway through the thing and i should have bought these way before but the safety glasses i got just just they did the dust can go around them so i've actually decided to buy proper safety glasses let me see if i can get open for you I'll show you just so it surrounds my face by well, my eyes really because the other ones are really just glasses so this should stop the dust getting in my eyes so i can work upside down and everything uh, when i do the underneath so that should help a lot so yeah i'll stop talking and uh carry on doing all of this and see how far i can get today Just a quick update, I've done two fronts. I've ripped out the anchor locker. One side, I, could, I just pulled that one out easy. Uh, then the panel that went there come out easy. This is in a little bit better, but I don't know if you can see there's a dent there. So even the wood in there's gone. But there's all cracked, so I'll pull that out. Um, yeah, so I've started working on my way down here. I need to get that toilet wall out to carry on above there. Uh, this is quite easy. I will have to get the window out to do anything of that. Uh, I've done all that, that one. Same with the top of that. I have started on the roof. It probably don't need doing all the way down to the fiberglass because there will be a panel on here with carpet on. Um, that I'm thinking of, but if I just do it, just in case I change my mind, I might even just stick the carpet onto here to see how it goes. Uh, got to take all the rails off, redo all them. Uh, I've just done all that now. Same with the top of there, got to wait for the window to come out. I have started on that. It's such a weird angle, it actually uh, plays on your back a little bit, so... In the next stage, just get that panel out. Do that last little bit down the bottom of there, as much as I can do. Maybe do some sanding in there, get that ready, and then come back to here and try and get all this off. Uh, see how it goes, really.
Just giving it a quick clean. I think that's as much as I'm gonna get done until I come back, but it will be on one video. Um, as you can see, I've cleaned up to there now. I've cleaned all this out, so there's a bit more space. Get rid of all the rubbish. Uh, what I did notice is the previous owners did a fiberglass job. And they put it straight on to original paint. One sheet that is. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's a nice crack going along there. And then it looks like it. They've done a good job on the window. They've let, they've, you know, sanded it down, put some, there's a couple light patches. That could be the gel coat. Feels all right. But that, I mean, you can still see the paint on it. So that's gonna be a bit, bit of a job there as well. Um, and then what else we got? We got what I was saying earlier. That is soggy and wet. Uh, so probably cut all that out. We do it as that is. I thought it, I thought it was part of this, but that's actually a, original there. And then it looks like these have been added afterwards. If you can see. Um, also, the the head uh, call it head stringers. I'm not too sure what they're called. Um, I was just going to sand them down, repaint them, board them out. Uh, but what I realised is, I first see something like this. Thought, oh, it was a little bit wet. And then this one was, a, actually it was on this side, it cracked and it just fell off. And you can see it's a little bit damp. So I want to do this job properly and get it done and do it the once, not come back later and having to, so what I'll probably do on these as well is cut these down, sand it all down and put brand new ones on just so I know it's secure and because they would also be for support on the roof. So if anyone wants to go and stand on the roof, uh, they can. Uh, same with that, that'd be the bow. So I might as well do it all properly and cut them out. Reseal the holes. But yeah, that's it for this week, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.